It is now 16 before 7 o'clock coming up this morning, starting at 11, a very special celebration, if you will, to honor the Fallen Five, which happened nine years ago today at 11 o'clock. Retired senior Navy Chief Tommy Mitchell is here and retired Navy Chief Mitchell is very active in the Chattanooga Area Veterans Council. Yes. You're the president of that, correct? Uh, chairman. Chairman. Same thing. All right. <laughs> uh, the Chattanooga Area Veterans Council covers a lot of different things. You've got the Medal of Honor Museum, the American Legion Post, the VFW Post, the National Cemetery, wreaths mm. across Chattanooga and uh, so much more. Yes. Why is it so important for veterans and non-veterans to get involved with what you all are doing? Well, f first of all, Chip, thanks for having me today. Uh, we try to bring in all the entities, so to speak, that uh, observe different military holidays and things of that nature, events, and we try to be the center hub for all of those. And what we do is bring in everything under the one umbrella. And what you have done so far has truly been remarkable. I want to take you back to nine years ago very briefly, and there's no other way to put it, all hell broke loose. Yes. What went through your mind when you heard the news? Uh, completely devastated, unreal, uh, for again, an act like that could take place on American soil. Uh, my, first, my first emotion was just being mad. I was mad at first, and then I thought about the families of those, those individuals. But I'm, I'm like, what is it that create this type of environment that we have in our country? You and the other folks with the Chattanooga Area Veterans Council formed a very protective cocoon, if you will, around those five families who were impacted. And for that, you all are to be commanded. Uh, commended, rather. And in talking with you and with uh, Commander Mickey McCamish, we all think it's very important that this ceremony today continues each and every year so those five yes. service members will not be forgotten. Yes. Tell me what's going to be going on this morning at 11. Well, this morning we're going to have an observance, as you spoke of, and uh, it's going to be where uh, myself, both mayors, will be there as well. Uh, Captain McCamey will be there as well. And we're just going to speak for, uh, for a brief moment on the importance of never forgetting this particular day. I don't see how anybody with a drop of patriotic blood could ever forget this day. Yes. And the impact it had, not just on those five families, on the veterans' family, yes. but on our entire community. Yes, I look at it like this. It's not on the, on the same scale as Pearl Harbor, which was an act of war. This was a peacetime event. And just like we remember Pearl Harbor, uh, we want to remember the, the Fallen Five. I'll tell you, here are names that should be permanently etched into our collective memory. It is Sergeant Carson Holmquist, the United States Marines, from the U.S. Navy, Specialist Randall Scott Smith, Staff Sergeant David Wyatt, also with the Marines, Lance Corporal Skip Wells, also with the Marines, and to wrap things up, Gunnery Sergeant Tom Sullivan. Very vital, very important to all of us and for yes. generations to come yes. that this event and these five gentlemen who truly gave their lives for their country will never yes. be forgotten. Yes. Uh, retired Senior Navy Chief Tommy Mitchell, thanks to you and everyone associated with the Veterans Council for You're all you welcome. do. Thank you for your service. Yes, sir. We'll see you down there this morning yes, at sir. 11. How can people get in touch with you or the Veterans Council office to find out more information about well, this? Well, I can be contacted either by my phone number, area code 904 705 2422 or also you can reach me at my email rdy the number two rol at yahoo.com sir thank you again for your service yes we'll be right back with more of news 12 this morning after this